Welcome to Latinx Hello. Now, holiday edition, you know, so yes, uh, how was your holidays? Was it Mine nice? was fantastic. Was yes. it? Yes. I was on I the night. all the things. Did you? Yes. What was your favorite? Turkey, I love Turkey. Oh. oh yeah, Turkey great. twice. Yeah, Thanksgiving. That's very Christmas. Colombian. Is it? Yeah. Cause is like, it? Is it? Yeah. I, I, I didn't name. get that memo. Wow. I didn't Me. know that either. You're not yeah. Colombian enough, sorry. I guess not. Do yeah. Colombians build like gingerhead? Like no, no gingerbread no, house. No, no, no. no. That's very no we have we have like novenas. Yeah, buñuelo, uh -huh. uh -huh. I should know this, yes. right? Uh -huh. it's Sorry, it's Bobby. Nice. It's nice. <laughs> but anyway, so uh, you know, I, I I love it because you get to spend time with your family, yeah, regardless yeah. of you know traditions. We all have different ones depending on the countries and all that different holidays. But I think the most important thing is we all get together with our families, and True. I love that so That's much. That's very yes. sweet of you. And you guys are my work family, so it's good <laughs> oh to be. My God. Christmas is done. Yeah. You don't have to like, talk like you're on it's the nice list anymore. Wait, good. All right, good. Forget you too. <laughs> nice <laughs> All right, you know what? So let's get to it. Let's get to it because you know what? This week we thought we'd reminisce about some of our best Latin X now moments with you guys. So as a little holiday gift, ho ho ho, we have an exclusive <laughs> interview with Jesse and Joy. I love them too. And also we'll be going through the best and worst fashion trends of 2018. So to begin with uh, a phrase that, oh my God, has really taken over and it's, it's become a huge phrase. <laughs> Huge, yeah, yeah, right. huge phrase is fake news. Fake news oh. is everywhere. Politics, science, business, and of course, with many celebrities as well. And while some might be innocent, others are just really cruel. Yeah, cruel, mm -hmm. right? Like, not cool, not cool. Not, not cool. Shall we go into it? Yeah, all right. So how about it's we start with the uh, the biggest fake news in the Latin X music world this year, and it's a. Uh, Juan Gabriel being alive. No. <laughs> Juan Gabriel, all right, so here, here, let's explain really quick. Uh -huh. Here's what happened. Former manager announced that El Diva de Juarez is still alive and was supposed to come back on the 15th. Well, his son denied it, of course. <laughs> but the media keeps following the story around, and there's still those that believe it. You know, oh. there's a lot of people that believe it the same way that they believe that Tupac is still alive, That's Jim true. Morrison, that even Elvis Presley is still alive. I just... I think it's sad, just let them rest in peace, you know what I mean? But there's just big fans out there that would love the idea that, you know, these artists just come back and just create some more magic that they've always the created. Whole there, but don't you guys think that it's more like a marketing strategy? Something mm. like that? Maybe they're like promoting something and then that's why they have everything, like everyone like, <gasps> That's mm. very true. That's you actually, know. that's a good possibility, that's yeah. That's very could true. Be, could be. For sure, for sure. Well, you know, uh, Juan Gabriel was supposed to come out on stage December 15th, and you know what? It turned out that it was nothing at all, just as many of us have suspected. Uh, so it turned out that, yes, this case was definitely fake news. Like Nas said, I think, you know, we just really wanted to see Juan Gabriel once again. But, you know, we uh, hope that he continues resting in peace and his legacy continues living on. That continues living on is through his music, for sure. Well, in other fake news, we have Roseanne Barr because she was a victim of a prank when somebody started a rumor that she had a heart attack. Thank God for Twitter because she was able to release a tweet saying, I was a victim of a prank. I've had, I have no medical issues. I'm spending time at home with my family and relaxing. What is this picture there? She answered there, I'm so fine, unnecessary. But okay, she's fine, but that outfit is not. Right? That must be terrible wow. announcing that like you're not alive anymore and it's the worst picture. Yeah, no. yeah, completely. Wait, no, you guys. Do you know when the people like collapsed and like freaked out? when they heard that Kim and Kenny were getting a divorce. Oh, that's oh right. I remember that's that. It all started mm -hmm. like with a journalist, I think it was Ashley Preston or something. Yes, yes, and yes. And she tweeted a link that if you click the link, it will send, send you to the voter uh, voting registration. registration thing. Yes. Right, right, yeah. So it was like a positive one, I guess. I think, uh, yeah, out of all the fake news, I think that was probably one of my favorite ones because yeah. it had a good incentive, you know? Right. Like people are gonna go and it's like, Kim and Kanye broken up. Nope. That's Go vote. vote. Yeah, Go but you vote. know what ended up happening with this, though, is that a lot of media picked it up, right? They picked right. it up and, and they, they were like, it. Kim and Kanye getting a divorce without looking further into it or clicking, and so it spread like wildfire. So you know what? The lesson here is don't believe everything you see on But the you internet. can believe everything you see here. That's true. Yes, you can. You can believe everything you see here. <laughs> Anything that's said out of our mouths, that's it's it. true. That's it. But you know what? Another thing that actually also took over like crazy wildfire 
Also, uh, to admit a little bit too much, uh, is social media challenges, right? right like, it just right. It was an insane amount. And we've been following them all and also kind of uh, taking part of them, too. Uh, we <laughs> did. We're, We're guilty. Us. We're guilty. Yes. It was her fault. <laughs> we I are guilty. Say. But you know, the whole thing started with uh, Shiggy and with the Kiki challenge in my feelings. He was one of the first people to post the, the famous, the infamous challenge of dancing and doing this Kiki dance to the side. And jumping out the car. That blew up. That blew up. That was like probably one the of the number of ones. Yeah. That to me became, I think, like the biggest one for sure. And it ended huge, right? It did end huge. And we had Will Smith, Ryan we Seacrest. Yes. And you know, also kind of did it was Thalia, but then she did a kind of like a little remix, and then it ended up being La Chona Challenge. Of course, right. of course. And I think she was inspired from Will Smith's own video mm -hmm. when he did it off the top of a, a bridge, wasn't it? It was huge, huge, huge. And, and it was just like took over. Massive, 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 massive. <laughs> Of course, it's Will Smith. He had to take it up 10,000 notches, right? Not just There's one or no two. Way. I mean, look at this. But it's That's Will's crazy. He's going to do it. He has to of do it all Of course, out. of course. Big Will time. Smith is always doing those things. Yeah, no, He's always making true, it just true. like, ah, perfecto. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. I want to but, see but, the challenge. On the Talia one. Yeah, Talia, Sorry, let's guys. show it. Let's I, show I it. jumped myself because a... in my feelings, there were so many people that did it. But this one was the whole little remix version of it. She started because everybody was jumping out the cars, doing the kiki. But then out of nowhere, it comes and turns into La Chona dun, dun, dun. Challenge. Yes, which I love it. It's a Mexican, you know, combination there with Drake, and, and it's just fantastic. And so much fun. And by the way, showing off her, like, Rolls Royce there, you know? Hey, uh, of course you would notice it's that. Yeah, you know, I'm you're you noticing know? her glasses, her whole little athletic <laughs> look, yes, and yeah. you're in the car. No, <laughs> come on. It's a nice cosita. But you guys know my mouth because another challenge that went super viral was not just because of the dance but because of this little frog alien I don't know but it was a dame tu cosita mm, pit mm. bulls challenge I think it's freaky do I you love yeah, it? Yeah, big time. Well, I think the song came from the challenge, right? Yeah. Like, it became such a big challenge that then Pitbull was like, man, I'm releasing this song. I'm doing my own version. Yeah, yeah. it was like the challenge before That was smart. That was really smart. Yeah. But now, big guys, time. my favorite challenge, because it's with my boy, hey, Fonzi. <laughs> um, it, it was the Calypso challenge, the one that we did. Well, he showed me directly. I didn't learn it from online. I learned it directly from the uh, king himself, oh. Mr. Luis Fonzi, teaching me the one, two, three Calypso. And then <laughs> I came into the studio over here and, and begged you guys to join And we me. did such a <laughs> terrible job. I know we didn't really have a choice. Terrible Can, can we that? see your production? Do you guys still have it? Do we? Do we? I, I hope do so. Have? Yes, yes. yes. Can, do we do it instead? Yeah, 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 no. We oh, have look, look at it. Oh, look at it. Look at it. No, no. Oh, no. Look at it. No. Look at it. It's terrible. Terrible camera angle. <laughs> I do for a paycheck. I can't believe this. What is this? What a mess. All right. How about how about we're done? We're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. All right. Guys. All right. Guys. All right. Guys. Okay. Stick around. Stick around because up next we have your fave musical duo, Jesse and Joy, bringing us that holiday joy. That's it, right. Joy? Oh, I'm yeah. so clever hey, that's of you. Right. Also, fashion trends this year. The Yas by Felicia. That's right. We'll take a look at what should go and what should stay in 2019. Guys, like next, I will be right back. Right. <laughs> Back. Welcome back and now for a fun Latinx Now interview between brother and sister dynamic duo Jesse and Joy. That's right, we caught up with them in the chilly New York City. Yeah, chilly New York City, but the interview got super warm. Did it now? Uh, warm. Check it out, you guys. Warm. Hey guys, we're Jesse and Joy. We're live from the Lodge at Urban Space here in New York. So to all our friends at Latinx, we're going to be chatting a little bit with you. We're also going to be talking a little bit about ourselves, maybe a few things that you didn't know about us, or you did. My full name is Tirsa Joy Huerta. My full name is Jesse Eduardo Huerta y de la Peña de la Rosa de la Casa del Sol. <laughs> <laughs> So Jesse's the oldest, I'm the youngest. We're brother and sister. Siblings. Yes, we're siblings. And we've been writing music together since I was 15 and Jesse was 18. And basically, we just continued writing music. We have four albums out. 
and our most recent album, our last album, called Un Besito Mas, because we're preparing new music for 2019. Our album, Un Besito Mas, got us our first Grammy. We were nominated before, but this got us our first Grammy, and it won us our... Sixth Latin Grammy. Sixth Latin, sixth Latin Grammy. So our new single, our latest single, is called Te Espere. That is actually the first single of our upcoming album in 2019. It's a really emotional song, a heartfelt song. There's a bit of irony in it because it's like when love burns out, your heart still stays burning. And there is absolutely no words that will bring you comfort. We love Navidad, which is Christmas. It's always been an amazing holiday for us, like with the best of both worlds, like with typical Mexican food, typical American food. Jesse's birthday is December the 31st. And I begged him to please, please, can I be with you on your birthday this year? Please say yes. Yes. So we're going to spend the holidays together this year. They're constantly asking me. I read like all the DMs. I try to read them all. There are a lot. But why cheese and beans, was his, which is my Instagram handle. And there's a reason. There's actually a meaning behind that. Our mom, we're bicultural, Mexican-American. We grew up in Mexico City, born and raised there, but our mom is from Wisconsin. It's a cheese state. It's a cheese state. So cheese from that side, cheese. And Mexico, beans representing. Our dad was Mexican, he was from Mexico City. So that's why cheese and beans. Whenever social media started becoming a thing, Jesse, Jesse and I were younger and we would get into fights. So whenever we'd get into fights, he would change the password and I didn't have access to the J&J account, so I created my own account called Joy Only, and my Twitter account was just Joy, so it was like, okay, we're gonna fight about this, it's gonna be Joy, and that's it. Joy, nothing more. So that's why it's Joy Nada Mas, that's what Joy Nada Mas means. Ooh. Favorite cartoon of all, I love Bugs Bunny. I'm, I'm, I'm debating between Rick and Morty and Family Oh Guy. my God, Rick and Morty, for sure. Joy. Yes. If you had a time machine, a bathtub, Time machine. Ooh, a bathtub time machine. Hot tub time machine. Yeah, it was Would like you rather go back or forward in time? I'd rather go back to the future. <laughs> Thank you, Latinx, now for having us. We are happy to bring some joy to your lives. And Jesse. And <laughs> Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Happy Sayonara. holidays. God See bless you. Later. you. Stay cool. Ciao. Uh, I love them too. You know, it's, it's it's actually one of the few artists that you like just get to hang out with and just like be real and all that they're stuff. They're super no? cool and they, they're really the epitome of what Latinx now is. Yes, I love them so much. All right, guys, up next, we are saying yas or <laughs> bye, yeah. Felicia, to the best and worst fashion trends of 2018. So don't go anywhere because Latinx now will return shortly. Yeah. You know, Jesse Pollard. <laughs> to Latinx now, but Woo. we're gonna have the final word on fashion of 2018. You guys ready? Are we? Ready. Yes. Ready. We, we're saying, yes, or... <laughs> Dramatic pause. Bye, Bye Felicia. <laughs> to all the looks that we've seen this year, so. Yeah, and it's sad that we're doing a fashion rundown wearing this, but that's fine. Hey. This is that's a yes. the irony of life. This is what we're doing <laughs> on our sure. segment. People, tags, and places. So let's go with the first one, which is something that I love, dad sneakers. I you know, love those big them chunky too. sneakers. We've seen them from the runway to the celebrities and uh, everyone's rocking them. And I, I actually really Trisha, like them. To Claudia. Haley, uh, Haley Baldwin and uh, Bella Hadid. Everyone's rocking it, right? I love how Claudia added Christian. We're yes. Claudia. Christian and Claudia and we're forcing Nastasha, Nastasha to wear them, but then. Oh. All right, so you guys obviously are yas about the dad sneakers. Yas, yas. Yas. yas? Okay, completely, completely. I have not been so crazy about them until Claudia really started rocking them, and I was like, Damn, Wait, I so like you didn't like them. when I wore them? What Sorry, the I, mean? I wore them best. All right. So it's three yasses. Yes. Done, done, yes. done. So okay. that's the thing. The next one that we are going to say either Bath, Felicia, or Yas to is thongs exposed. We've uh, seen them on the runway. We've also seen them on our girl, Miss 
Jennifer Lopez as well. Um, but is it a yes or by Felicia with the thong hanging out of your jeans, guys? I feel like that can just stay in the <laughs> runway. <for that>. <laughs> <laughs> what about on J Lo? Uh, and J Lo, J Lo is fine, Marilla. J Lo can rock anything. Yeah, I, I, she I. I'm gonna say bye, Felicia, to it. Yeah, I'm I don't say know. Bye you know, I gotta it's say, I like a little bit of mystery. Aye. No, a little bit of mystery. So oh, like, I don't need to see it all right away. Like Does that, that make sense? So keep yeah. it as, as Victor's. Yeah, show me later in the night. <laughs> That's it. No? So keep it for yourself. <laughs> Another thing that we have for Yas or bye, Felicia, okay. is neon, guys. We've yeah. seen it on the runway. It was totally the trend last that I like. year. That's a dope. Uh, yeah. Neon, I do. like too. We also saw it on. Anita, we see a lot of the reggaetoneros, and like, I mean everybody. Neon was totally in in 2018. That's yeah. a yes, right? From so is it a yes or by Felicia for 2019? For me, it's a yes. I like. For me, it's a yes, yes. too. I like. It's uh -huh. fun, fun and funky. Guys, I'm gonna say for 2019, it's gonna be a by oh, Felicia maybe. for me. Yeah. Maybe 2020 can come back around, but for now, I'll stick with the animal prints that are coming. So keep your neon. Keep your neon. No, wait. Right? No, you know which one else? Uh, the what? fanny packs. Uh, I love yes. those. Fanny I packs. love them. I love them. You know, them. I actually Flashback. have a couple of fanny packs. But you know, it's so funny. People are wearing them across their chest. Yes, and in the here back. I wear them. I wear them traditional Me style. Me too. Yes. I wear them all Danny the way. Tanner style. Yeah. <laughs> I wear them like right here, and I'm just like cool, and I, I love it. And for me, it's so like. I feel like I'm back in school again when I'm like out. when I was like Honestly, ten years old. I, I, I agree. I think not only that, but the fanny packs came into later in 2018. Yeah, so sure. that's why I think they're definitely a yes. You see it here on Kourtney Kardashian. She's Mom. wearing it. She's rocking another type of way, like you said, on the hips. Right, right. So to me, I like definitely feel that it's gonna be a yas. I love them. Uh, for I me, for me it's a yas for sure, and I hope it too. stays around forever. So three yas, that's for three that. Yases. There's an another one actually that you really like as well, no? That you really like. I absolutely loved this trend in 2018, and it was the tiny sunglasses. I love them too, but I don't think yes. they're staying. Uh, uh, girl, so that's your buy? I think so. I think so too, though. I, I love think these them. Tiny, I think they're done. We've seen them on Bad Bunny. We've seen them on J Balvin. We've seen them on in Victoria's Secret fashion show. We've seen them on Kendall. We've seen them on everybody. Yeah, sure. It was definitely for me one of the top trends of 2018. But we were talking about this earlier. Yes. And I definitely think that they're a ba Felicia yeah. for 2000. Uh, and I think bigger glasses are coming back. The bug eyes. Yes. Sure. That's what I. Think. I can't rock them. Yeah, you so yeah, so you know, and the last one we have here is the plastic heel, which I which, love. Which I know that the two she of you are two. really big fans she of. Them. Uh, the plastic heel, but you know, it, it's funny. I see them, and then I, the thing I look at is like, are they sweating? Is it you know, like condensed, like condensation on the That's plastic? It happens, things. right? <laughs> to tell you the truth, maybe. Well, we see also here Kim Kardashian. She rocks them in all different types yeah, of she forms. Doesn't sweat. She no. Yeah, 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 she doesn't sweat. <laughs> but let me tell you, as a girl, it kind of once it sweats, it kind of molds over your leg. Oh, where it kind of so sticks so gotcha, perfectly, gotcha. where it's comfortable. And really the beauty tell. behind it is because they're clear, you can wear like a red with it, a blue with it, and it and always So is matches. it a Yas oh, or neons. a by Felicia? Yas. yas. Right, it's a Yas. Okay, that's cool, that's cool. All right, perfect, like so that was our nude. fashion run down there. No, not bad, not bad. We had a, a lot of Yases and not a so much by Felicia's. All right, so don't go anywhere, because up next we'll be talking about everything that makes those celebs go goo goo ga ga. <laughs> Yes, you guys will be right back. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> As is the circle of life, we'll be going through all of the celebs that we lost this year, as well as the celeb babies that we welcomed. So let's start it off with the ones that left us. Yes, for sure. And we start off this list with Stan Lee, the man behind Marvel Comics, you know, creator, but really of uh, Captain America, Iron Man, uh, the Avengers. Such a huge impact on so many young lives. I know on mine, uh, one of my heroes, and so I, it's definitely someone that that we will miss. And another that left us way too soon. Was was Mac Miller. A lot of them knew him as a rapper. He was a great friend, family, but also known as Ariana Grande's ex. Yes, for mm -hmm. sure. Way too uh, fast to go. Mm -hmm. You guys, we have Aretha Franklin too, the Queen of Soul. The Queen mm -hmm. of Soul. I which mean, will, be, will be 
literally super dearly missed I by mean, everyone. That voice. That insane. Voice, that voice. Out of this world. Yes, absolutely. And really just made a, a huge change also for just the black community as well, which is fantastic. Mm -hmm. And here we have uh, Kate Spade, who, you know, for many uh, many girls, it was the introduction really to like the first purse or, yeah, you know, sure. the fashion world. And it, and, and it became an iconic brand, you know, the Kate Spade brand. Um, and so someone really else did. that, you know. And another young soul that left us too soon, you know, Know, one that would put our bodies to jump and dance and shake it was Avicii. Um, so that. young, this DJ who really just moved the whole world. Yes, for sure. Moved the whole world. I, it's, I like that. And then we have, uh, to top off the list, we finalize it with Stephen Hawking, you know, probably one of the brilliant minds of, of history, I would say, history. definitely of our generation, but uh, history. And it's just um, someone that. Uh, it was really went beyond what his years were supposed to and be. Not, you know? not just his essence and as a person, you know, knowing all the, the stuff that he had to deal with alone, he just kept on going yeah, and, and, and a world. crazy sense of humor, apparently. Yes. A crazy sense of humor. So, you know, we'll definitely be uh, missing all of those. Um, you know, you know who's another one that did leave us too too early. I'm here saying all the ones that left us too soon was XXX Tentacion, yeah. which was very sad to me. I think I, it was the one that kind of shocked me the most. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Too, too instant. But you know what? We also had many new babies. We had uh, we people who welcomed. Let's, let's go on a lighter note because yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's... Let's look at those little little ones that made everyone happy. All the celebrities and us too. Mm -hmm. yes. All stalkers for too. Sure, for sure. And then this is the part we say Gaga Goo Goo. <laughs> yes. No. Longoria. So no. My God. Santiago Enrique Bastón Longoria. Oh, what a name. I love that name. I love that Very she gives such a lot of names. Yes. Today. I love it too. Then we also have, of course. Chloe Kardashian with baby true true Thompson she did make the headlines this year and she was that one of the such cutest a cute pick. she's so oh cute. that's it I mean come on oh, all these picks are just too much God. do you know what someone that gives them competition uh. <laughs> Kylie Jenner with baby stormy, stormy so, uh, so so cute and actually remember this is the one that uh, the pregnancy that we really didn't know about right? right like this is the one that was like the secret one that was the secret one but we're also happy with the news finally of being able to see Esta Stormy, mariposa la mariposa, yes. Um, we also have... Yes, Aislinn Derbez, yes. yes Aislinn Derbez here, um, you know, with Mauricio Ockman had a baby Kailani, and there's the family portrait of, of, you know, them sharing. They take a lot of vacations, which is fantastic, spending yeah. a lot of time together. So, Kenya Derbez became a grandparent this Aww. year. Yes, yes. And here we have Prince William and Kate Middleton's beautiful baby boy, Louis. Louis. So cute. He's adorable. so adorable. And, you know, our future king, right? Uh, oh, well, he still has well. two people in front of him. <laughs> future, 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 right? But just adorable. Uh, and so... Finally, we also have one that I've been waiting to see, and she finally posted a picture, you guys. Oh, this one, actually, we were like, yes! Yes! yes. It's baby culture, oh. Cardi B and Offset's baby, you guys. Finally, she gave us the holidays gift. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> it was like, uh, you know what? Here you go. Happy holidays. Yes. Right? <laughs> That's, let me tell you, I've been wanting to see her, because she, she was like Stormy, like one of those that we were waiting and waiting and waiting, and like, finally. I think there was more anticipation for culture in a way. I right? think so too. Yes. And, she and had that's like... smart. That's smart to do. That is no? smart. Yeah, I'm gonna you know what's also smart? <laughs> Following us, you guys. Yes, Following it is. us is really yes. smart on Instagram and Twitter at Latinx Now and also on Facebook, mm -hmm. Facebook.com mm -hmm. slash Latinx Now. And of course, as we've mentioned, uh, if you guys want to check us out in Spanish, I know some of you definitely do. You can check us out on Universo and on Telemundo Entretenimientos YouTube. So ahí nos vemos. You guys Se can check habla us out. Español. Sí. <laughs> Right? <laughs> well, no, that's it, right? That's okay. it. Oh. We hate we hate this part. Enjoy the rest of your holidays, guys. Yes. Eat lots of leftovers. Happy New Year. So yeah. Some turkey like yeah. how Claudia eats. Exactly, yes. <laughs> Merry Christmas again. Yeah. And Happy New Year. Happy right. New Year. Ciao, <laughs> This is Latinx Now. And if you liked what you saw, hey, subscribe. You know the button, so where? click yeah, it. Yeah, the one where? Right here. It's right where? here. It's right here. Or maybe. Or maybe. <laughs> maybe. Or maybe. <laughs>